Traders always ask me when to add on to a trade. Well, first off, I tell people don't add to a losing trade. I don't subscribe to the averaging down methodology. So if it's not going my direction, I'm either out or I, I'm just not adding to it. So when you add to a winning trade is you want it to be going your direction. Number one, if it is moving in the correct direction, if all your indicators say that it's doing well, and if it is working your way, then you can start considering adding to it. I personally like to add when price has either pulled back into or bounced off of a moving average, and I love the 50 SMA as far as the moving average. Places you don't want to add to a trade is when it's outside of the third ATR or up around the third ATR or basically too extended away from support or something like that moving average. So to kind of summarize again, I like to see price actually move sideways or into support, bounce off those moving averages. And when it bounces at that place, that's where I like to add. So as far as something that is breaking out and if it is actually a legitimate breakout that has strength and momentum and we should be either initiating or adding to that position, or if it's a breakout and it's maybe like a, a pop and flop that eh, maybe it's not a really good place to get into that trade because it just uh, popped and then it has no energy behind it. Part of that is I like to use lower time frames, mostly like the 15 minute time frame. And as long as price is following the moving averages on that time frame, then we've got energy and momentum behind it. The other thing is kind of how, how quickly or how vertical did that move go? If price jumped straight up, it's usually not supported. It has outrun any of its moving averages. Those moving averages are not anywhere near price for it to actually walk along. And so that's where you need to be careful. Is price actually just moving up with strength in a reasonable manner? Or is price actually just popping straight up and it's gonna have to fade back down to support? So those are two ways to kind of define if price is going to be uh, sustainable for a breakout. 